YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host TKK and we are back with another video. All right, man. So I decided to shoot this video this way, right? Let's just go ahead and take a look at the new and redesigned living room. I am about to get my entire house managed and situated the way that I want it to be. We got a nice comfortable couch here. Nice and comfortable. We got that that Chulix cabinet, man. Look at that thing. Beautiful. We've got another video coming up with that, but I'm going to go ahead and give you a sneak peek. We got a test bench PC inside of that thing, man. All right. Main squeeze attraction. Ooh, beautiful. The Sony Alpha 95 King. Yes. 65 inch got this thing set up and situated right there with the sweet spot got my record player over there a couple of other peripherals and so yeah this is this is my new living space give you that initial walk in right bam all right so yeah we've got the a95k position in here this is sony's Quantum dot OLED. This is the Quantum dot OLED for 2022, following the first Quantum dot OLED, which is the S95B. Now I've got this thing positioned right here. My original orientation was having a 77-inch C1 on that wall, and then I would be sitting right here, which, when I measured it out, and I've done this on video, was about 15 feet hit to screen, maybe 16 feet. And it didn't look bad at all. It didn't. Um, obviously, there is a science behind how far you would want to sit from your TV and screen to where my head is actually really good for this 65 inch. So I am really very much so enjoying this. Now, the reasoning behind me wanting to do this was because I was spending so much time. Got the old school Harmony 650 yes sir but i was spending a lot of time in my bedroom with this tv i mean so much time where it was like shoot i'm not even watching the 77 inch c1 um i just wasn't <laughs> and so i was like you know what i got this tv this is the best tv of the year let me go ahead and just get this tv where it deserves to be but when I originally broke this TV in for like the three weeks to the month when I had it in here and it was on that wall and I was sitting on that chair, you know, it was very far. Um, and I could notice the difference with going from the 77 to the 65. And so although I was enjoying the picture quality, I wasn't getting that level of immersion that, you know, I deserve to get uh, sitting this close right here. You know, I'm literally like when I say a sweet spot, let me show you guys like so this chair is really wide. OK, and so I only need to sit on this side of this chair and it really like takes, you know, gives me the comfort when I recline. I literally use this side as like a table, if you will, put my phone, tablet, whatever. So putting myself in this the space that I just showed you, you know, I'm smack dead in the middle of my center speaker. Right. Um, and now with my center speaker, you know, with it being a Sony setup, I've got this new Denon receiver, right? And so this is really a focus point of this video. All right, so let's just spend a little bit of time talking about this receiver. This receiver is Denon's 2022 model. I really do enjoy this thing. This is the AVR-S970H. And most recently, I've made some content showing you guys when I had the 960 model. So the 970, the 70 is going to be an indication of 2022. So then it has a 570, they have a 770, they have a 970. And to my understanding, when you go behind here, behind the 970, that's when you start jumping into the quadruple digit units. And so I did have someone that spoke to me about getting the 2700 the 2700 would actually be an older iteration so the newer flagship 
receivers that they offer are all going to be 800. So it's going to be like 2,800, 3,800, uh, 4,800, and so forth. Those are going to be just like this one, just like all of the 70s, right? Like I said, 570, 770, 970H, the 70s are going to offer you all of the HDMIs that you want, right? So this has 8K video. It's got the 4K at 120 hertz with variable refresh rate. So you get the pass-through of VRR with all of the ports. You get the 4K at 120 with all of the ports. You know what I mean? It's just a really good option. So this is 7.2. The model below this one is a is a 970. I'm sorry, it's a 770. This is a 970, so it's a 770, um, and it offers you also 7.2. Um, you don't get 90 watts or up to 90 watts. Um, I think it caps at about 70, 75, which is still adequate because my system is a, a baseline core system. Uh, but this has been a great addition onto my setup, um, especially with the Sony and the Panasonic TVs. If you've got flagship Panasonic OLED or if you've got any of the Sonys from last year or this year, you're in a position where you only have two HDMI ports. This is a solution and it actually works really well. Um, I've even done some input latency tests. Listen, this is a really good thing. I'm ex extremely excited to use this. It's been great. I've been able to have my Xbox and my PlayStation. And although I don't have my PC set up yet, we'll soon have the PC back into the sweet space of being in my living room. So I definitely recommend this. It's been really good to me. All right, so let's just talk about some of my audio for now. Um, I do have another sub that I like to add. This is all Sony Core Align products, right? So Core Align being just a base stuff. Um, just look it up. I'm not going to type model numbers, but this is all Core stuff. The Atmos speakers that they have, they do have the ability to actually mount up, um, but I'm not interested in, in, in going through all of that. So we got these top firing. We got the, the towers, the one sub that I will add another. We've got the, the center, which... The TV does an amazing job as being a sensor, but having a dedicated sensor is there. That's pretty cool. Um, it's also going to follow through with the same Atmos um, up firing speaker and the tower. And like the left side, I'm going to look to get a second Sony subwoofer on the right side. So I think that's going to be really clean. Let me just get you a, a shot at that. As I started this video, we seen Bardock there where I've got my one rear right gonna take that all the way over to this guy over here so kind of got those facing the same way i'm getting a decent sound in my personal opinion you guys let me know what you think of the setup i think it's it's good it sounds great to me um it gives me everything that i feel like i need to have uh for right now all right so let me get you guys another night shot at this room now let's just talk about like what happened to the 77 inch LG C1 OLED. It is definitely not trashed. I am in the process of, you know, just kind of readjusting the house, getting it more how we want it to be. And my plan is to get that 77 inch in my bedroom. Keep it in mind, guys, I had the C9 in the bedroom. Uh, then I did the A95K there. I watched too much darn TV there. But I'm going to get my bedroom set up so that I can get like some console play and such like that. It's going to be another fun area and space for me to be able to create some content and to enjoy myself. Um, but this right here has been a good thing because I'm hearing that next year the quantum dots, they're looking to put them in a larger capacity. My hope, my desire, my one wish is that LG just go ahead and give Samsung some money buy one of these things so you can show them what it's supposed to be like for real, for real, right? Um, I can't say that I would be interested in buying a Sony in the 77, but who knows? Because with next year, they're supposed to be having a new chip where you won't necessarily need the the um, a receiver. It's supposed to be having four HDMI 2.1s. That's going to be amazing. Like, I would really, really like to see that. I think people deserve to be able to see that. But what one of the LGs would look like with the way that the, the out of the box looks and just the, the the soft bit of calibrating that you need to do to get an LG, how good would it look with a quantum dot? It's something that I'm really interested in seeing and I'm hoping that, you know, in the 23 TV season that I'll be participating in yet again, like I always do, 
Um, I'm hoping that we can see that. But that's what happened to my 77. Um, I determined that having the 65 in this seating, like, look at that. Look, look at that. That is just, that's the money shot right there, right? That is the money shot. Like, this is, <laughs> this is great. This is great. I'm just in, very much so enjoying this. Now, to be honest with you guys, when I first got the 77, this is literally, literally where I had it positioned. And I did it because being a white OLED, um, not being the most bright. Um, I also tinted, like fully tinted the window behind here. So if you guys haven't seen my review that I did on it and the videos that I posted last year when I got that TV, I fully tinted the window behind there through the 77 up and it was just beautiful. Um, so yeah, that's what we've got going on. Um, I just thought it would be cool to share this with you guys. I didn't want to make such a drawn out video about the receiver, but if you guys would like for me to go through a full tutorial and talk some more about what I like about the receiver in depth and do setups and things like that to help you make a decision, I will certainly do so. I do want to give a shout out to the one brother that recommended that I look into the Pioneer 505 model. That looks to be a damn good receiver, like really, really good. And the price is nice too. It's just that right now, um, with the way that my life is set up and the way that like I'm living right now, I don't have like the type of space where I want to just put really big speakers. I've got a lot of hobbies and things like that that I'm into. And so these core speakers are just working well for me. And because I like to have the brands matching, even though I no longer have a Sony receiver, I do at least have Sony speakers to complement my Sony TV in my area. There's going to be some more content coming on this thing. I've really got to finish the, the video feed that I've got. I've already started shooting stuff on it, but I really do love this. And I'm glad that I have this. And now I have it in my living space where I can just sit down, jump on some fight cage and get some games in. I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. If you have any questions, if you like this video, go ahead. You know what to do. You can support me with the thanks button. I am trying to grow. We are on the road to 7,000 subscribers, guys. It has been an amazing journey just being able to develop my craft with you guys and to take any feedback that you've been able to leave me constructively and to apply it to make myself better. But I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace. God bless. Max for love.